Today in the joy of editing, we're looking at the Tonal Contrast Filter in Nick 8 Color Effects, a powerful tool for adding depth and detail by adjusting contrast in highlights, midtones, and shadows. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. The Tonal Contrast Filter in Nick 8 Color Effects is one of the best ways to bring out detail and depth. Let's see how it works. I've got three examples lined up for you, a landscape, an architectural shot, and a portrait, so you can see how this filter performs on different types of images. Let's start out with this landscape image. Now, here is the Tonal Contrast Filter, and you'll notice these different adjustments. We have highlights, midtones, shadows, and saturation. And then we have a contrast type. This is a drop-down menu, and as you can see, we have standard, high-pass, fine, balanced, and strong. And also, we have our shadow and highlight protection sliders. Now, let's start out with highlight contrast. Watch the sky up here when I start to move this to the right. Notice how we can bring out some nice detail up there in that sky because we're bringing out highlight contrast. Now, you don't want to go too far but just far enough where it looks natural. And I think somewhere right around here. Now, right now we're using the contrast type of standard, but let's note something. We are starting to really clip these highlights. So what I want to do is protect those highlights. So we're going to come down to the highlight protection slider and watch this spike reduce as I start to move this highlight slider to the right. And I just want to move it over to where those highlights stop clipping right about here. Now, look at the sky. I'll uncheck tonal contrast. This is before and this is after, but see that nice, beautiful detail we were able to bring out in the sky just by adjusting highlight contrast. Now, let's try midtones. Let's bring up the midtone contrast. We'll drag this slider to the right. See the midtones starting to get more contrast, and that can be very beautiful, especially in a landscape image. And I think I'm going to go over to right here. I'll go a little stronger so you can really see it. And now let's try shadows. Let's bring up some shadow contrast. I'll drag this to the right, and the shadows will start to deepen up. And if you go too far, they're going to block up and get really dark. You don't want to go too crazy here. Keep it natural, and I think maybe right about here. Now, you'll note I'm clipping shadows a little bit. I don't mind a little bit of a clip shadow, but not too much. Let me take the shadow protection slider and drag this to the right and watch this spike start to reduce as I drag this to the right. And I'm going to take it over to maybe right about there. Now let's see an overall before and after. Here's before and here's after. Now let's talk about these different contrast types. Right now I'm on standard. It's very balanced and natural looking as you can see. And this is high pass. Now high pass is going to bring out a lot more details now, right now, it's really overcooked. I'd have to readjust it, but you can see what it's doing there. And then we have fine. It's a more subtle type of a contrast. And then we have balanced. It's kind of like standard, but it's a lot more balanced. I don't use it too often. And then we have strong. This is more of that HDR type look. It really depends what you're looking for. I generally don't use this one at all. I spend most of my time here on standard. I do try the different types and it does pay to experiment, but usually I find I'm using standard most of the time. Let's see before and after. I'll shut off tonal contrast. Here's before and here's after. But you can see in a landscape image, it is really a filter you definitely want to try on all your landscape images. Now, let's try it out in this architectural shot. I'll start out with highlights, but watch the histogram, how it'll start to clip when I start to drag this to the right. Do you see that? But I want to take this over to maybe right about here. Looks pretty good. Now I'll come to my highlight protection slider and we'll start to drag it to the right just till we lose the clipping. And I think maybe right here should do the trick. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. See the beautiful highlight contrast there? Now let's go for midtones. We'll start to drag this to the right and bring out some midtone contrast right about there. Now let's see what we can do with shadows. I'll start to move this to the right. Now, nobody says you always have to go to the right. You may want to reduce tonal contrast, and then you can go to the left. So it's really up to you. But I think I just want a little bit of shadow contrast in here, right there. And I'm really not clipping my shadows. Now, let me shut off tonal contrast. Here's before, and here is after, and I really like it. And as I said, it's always good to go through the different contrast types just to see if you like one better than the other. But in this case, I'm sticking with standard, as I usually do. And now lastly, let's try it on this portrait image. Now I'm looking at the highlights on the model's face here, and they look a little too hot. 
So this time, I think I'll reduce the highlight contrast. So I'll take the highlight slider. I'll move it to the left just to reduce some of the highlights, just to even out the face a little bit more. And I think I'll take it to right here. Here's before and here's after. Yeah, I like that better. It just evens out the face. Now, as far as a portrait image, you got to be very careful with tonal contrast. You don't want to overdo. Let's add some mid-tone contrast. I'll drag this to the right. See if I go too far, it's going to look really ugly but maybe just a little bit, maybe to right about here. Now let's try shadows. Let's drag this to the right, and maybe I'll take this a little bit stronger, but not too strong, maybe to right about here. Now let me shut off tonal contrast. Here's before and here's after. I may be a little too strong on shadow, so I'm going to pull that back a little bit to maybe right about here. Again, here's before, here's after. A subtle change, but you don't want to go too strong on a portrait, like I said. And don't forget, you always have saturation. We may want to give it more. We may want to give it less. And I think I just want to give it a little bit, maybe like 3%. Let me shut this off again. Here's before and here's after. And don't forget to try your contrast types. Here's standard. Here's high pass. Here's fine. Here is balanced and strong. But again, I think I'll stick with standard. Well, that wraps up today's tutorial on the Tonal Contrast Filter and Nick 8 Color Effects. I hope you found it helpful and picked up some new ideas for your editing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials and giveaways. Thanks for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.